worried about the weather. But yeah. Several politicians and government officials came together during the burial of Peter Tai, who was a former minister during the Obote II regime. <laughs> President Seven was represented by the Prime Minister, Dr. Rohakana Rugunda. In a speech read for him by the Prime Minister, President Seven called on Ugandans living in exile to return home, saying the country is now peaceful. Justice for Nega was put in place in order to ensure that all Ugandans who want to come home can come home peacefully and where possible resettle in their country because we need the efforts of every Ugandan in our struggle to develop Uganda. Musa Echeru, the State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, said that government continues to ask people in exile to return to the country and forget about the past. The president, over the years, has continued to extend a hand of welcome to all those in exile. The government has particularly requested, even through me, my humble self, to get in touch with some of the people who are in exile. The president also promised to rehabilitate the home of the foreign former minister. Jimmy Akena, the UPC party president, thanked the government and President UM7 for accepting to give Otai a decent burial and also meeting all the burial expenses. Jimmy Akena and FDC president Patrick Oboy Amriat were among the speakers that praised Otai's contribution to the politics of the country. I was fortunate as a young child in the early 1980s to witness the charisma of Peter Otai. He was a kind person. And an inspiration to us young politicians. No wonder the president of the FDC was born out of such teaching. Peter Otai died in the United Kingdom on 1st of January 2020. He has been laid to rest in his ancestral home in Oderai village in Sorot district. But, uh, fight.